Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com, and this is going to be my first video of 2014, by the way, which I'm very excited about. And as you can see, we're going to be talking about Facebook and Facebook marketing, and should you be using Facebook? And I think by you seeing this video that I'm saying, yes, you should, and that is correct. All right, and Alyssa Nicole of Alyssa Nicole Photography has agreed to let me use hers and uh, show you um, some of the things that I think she's doing really well, but also some things I think that she can improve on. And uh, she's one of our club members and one of our subscribers and students. And uh, she was like, yeah, definitely. So that's awesome because now I can share uh, with everyone else what I think they should be doing. Now, first off, let me just say that Facebook is very important for doing one thing, and that is telling a story or telling your story. Let's think about it. Most of you are probably using it to see pictures of your nieces and nephews and grandchildren and, you know, your kids and their kids and whatever, right? It's all about pictures usually or sayings or quotes or something that happened last night, right? And so it's all about telling a story. Well, how awesome would it be if you were telling your story as a photographer and a little bit about behind the scenes of a photographer? I mean, we all love seeing behind the scenes. So I want you to think about Facebook as you telling your story. And I got to say, Alyssa... And if you're listening to this right now, which you probably are, you're doing an awesome job. And really, like you said, you you really don't know that much about the marketing. That's kind of what you were struggling with. But what you're doing is awesome, and it's it, it's exactly what I would recommend you doing. And that is posting frequently and posting about what's going on in your life, but also what's pertaining to your photography. One thing I want to point out is uh, that you mentioned that you were going back to school. Okay. Now, some people would frown upon that. They'd be like, why do I want to let someone know? I want people to think I'm an expert at everything and that I, I don't need to learn anymore than that I'm, I'm a professional. Well, you are a professional, but you're also showing that you're going back to further your education to get even better. So like right here, she writes, the first day of school, I'm nervous, LOL, feels good to be back. And then she puts the, the community college that she's going to, right? She got 27 people liked it and three more people commented out of all these people here. A few people liked it. You know what? This here is, is what I call just an update status of what's going on. And people that are in your little base are going to want to see that. And they're going to say, oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Good for you, right? And then they're also going to think that you're further bettering your education. So you're going to be even better than you are now. All right? Another thing I want to point out. I mean, like this here too. This is like a, a subtle thing of saying, hey, look what else I do. But she didn't say that. Took a 1960s color negative and brought it to life. Love my job. Can't wait to pick up this print. So people that maybe didn't know this know that she also does photo restoration. Perfect, right? But she didn't come out and say, hey, do you want yours done? I'll, you know, pay me 50 bucks and I'll do it, right? Um, okay, then here she's got some announcements that she's putting up and she's letting people know that there's still one spot left for January 19th as a couple session. Um, she's currently booked for Valentine Minis. So again, showing people that she's booked and she's filling up what she has available. So this is a, a sense of, of, you know, I'm not just sitting around twiddling my thumbs. I'm actually working and people are hiring me. So it's a, a sense of social proof, which is great. All right. Um, okay. How many photographers, any level are, are, are on here that would be interested in working together? So now she's saying like, hey, if anybody's on there and wants to go and, and shoot together, let me know and we'll go meet up. And that's what she's doing. All right. Here, this is another idea here that a lot of people do is they'll change their profile picture, which Alyssa, you probably didn't do that. You probably just changed your logo or something. And what happens is, is this will update on people's news feeds. So again, you'll show up in their news feeds. If you can post three, four, five, six times a day, you're going to show up in people's news feeds more, which is going to lead them back to your page. That's what we want. All right. So I keep referring to this as a page, but that's going to lead me to my next thing. This is not a Facebook fan page. That is my first recommendation to Alyssa, and that would be to create a fan page. And there's a few reasons why I would do this. All right, I'm going to try to keep this video short because there's so many things I can be discussing here, but I want you to take away what I just discussed and how important it is to have the fan page and not just the personal profile page. Okay, the first thing that I want to point out is when you have a personal profile, you have friends. And the friends become friends by you either sending a friend request or them sending a request for you to, to, to allow them to be your friend, right? So there's a little bit of a barrier there. You can't just click a button and automatically be a friend or a fan, 
all right? With a fan page, you can come right to this page and you can go and click the like button and you're instantly a fan. You're instantly going to start seeing my stuff and you're instantly going to be able to interact with that page. So much simpler, right? That's what we want to do. So that's the one advantage of doing that. The other thing is I believe you're limited to the amount of friends you can have. You might only be able to have 5,000 uh, friends. Well, you may be saying, well, that's a lot of friends. I'm never going to have that many. Who knows? Why do you want to be limited? Okay. With a fan page, there, it's unlimited. You can have as many as you want. Okay. The other thing with a fan page is you get stuff like this. This here gives you insights. It tells you, okay, you have this many likes or this many fans. This is how many people are talking about it. So it gives you a gauge of how many people are actually interacting with your page. I can't tell you how many times I look at a page that's got 100,000 likes, but there's only a thousand people talking about it. That ratio is very, very low. And the reason for that is because there's not a lot of engagement on that page. Now, there's a couple tricks to get engagement. And one of them that Alyssa is doing is she's just keeping people in the loop. She's constantly updating things, right? So it automatically makes people, uh, you know, like even just little things like this. She just posted this update and she got five likes, okay? Uh, you know, so, you know, you, you can see three likes, right? Not a lot of likes, but there's a few. But then if you got 14 on this one and six comments, okay, every time that people comment or put or, you know, click like or share, it's going to make your page more active. All right. But if we look here, we don't see that data. I can't see if my page is active. I can kind of get a sense by the comments, but I can't really see how well I'm doing. And the reason why you want this number to be higher is because the higher it is means that you'll show up in people's news feeds more. Okay, when someone clicks on a like or share or, or comments, it's showing Facebook that you do want to interact with that page. Even though you like a page does not necessarily mean you're going to see stuff in your newsfeed all the time. But when you click like or you share or you comment, it's telling them that, yes, I want to interact with this page. So you'll start seeing more stuff show up in the newsfeed. You may have already noticed that yourself. All right, so that's a huge thing. And the other thing I'll go into is this little button up here in the admin panel where you see where it says see insights. If I click on that, I can see so much raw data about my page. This is just this at a bird's eye view. Page likes, it tells me like how many people liked it yesterday and this week and all that stuff. How much reach my posts are getting, you know, how many people are seeing it and how many organically are seeing it. The engagement values I can see, right? This one I really like, okay, this people one. I can see that on my page, 83% are women, okay? And that here in these these ages here are the most popular and the the one is the that's the most popular is 35 to 44 and then 25 to 34 and then 45 to 54 all right so that's the main group the main audience that helps me talk to people in a certain way all right and then it also tells me where they're from different cities the languages i mean look at united states canada australia united kingdom india south africa iran philippines kuwait i mean again this is raw data. This is this is good stuff. If I go to posts, it shows me all my posts. It shows me my engagement. Like down here, I can see my engagement. It's like, look at 16,000 people seen that post. This one down here, 35,888 seen that post. And then this is the last thing I'll share with you on the, on the analytics, which is really powerful. This here is showing you the interaction per time. All right. So I can see that at 7 a.m. in the morning, I'm not getting that much. By 9 o'clock, people are starting to wake up, starting to get more. I go to noon. It's not bad. And then throughout the day, it's pretty steady, right? But then look at this. The best time for me to post is 8 o'clock at night. So why wouldn't I look at this and go, okay, I'm going to post at 9 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, probably 5 o'clock. I'll do one at 8 o'clock. And then I might end the night at 10 o'clock. Do you see what I'm saying? Look at this. It tells me the days up here. Look, I can look at the different days. And look at, isn't that funny? You look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This graph is all pretty much similar. So what's that tell me? I'll just make a little note that every day I want to post at 9, you know, noon maybe, 3, 4, whatever, right? I can look at this and it tells me exactly what I need to do. All right? So that's huge. All right? So... That's what I'm going to leave you with right now as far as fan page versus profile page. And the other thing is just to keep in mind is that you want to interact on your page and you want to keep getting people uh, to, to interact with your, your posts. All right. And I'm just going to give you an example on one of mine that I've done here. Actually, a couple examples. Okay. Like 
uh, let me just go to this one here. This one was 19 hours ago. And I just put up a little saying that I found online and it, every photographer could probably relate to this. All right, I'm glad this business has no expenses and I get to pocket all the money, said no photographer ever. Because you know people in their minds are thinking, what, this person's got a camera, they're taking pictures, they're getting prints and they're paying $1,000 to have a wedding done or $5,000, okay? So we all know people talk like that. Well, look at this, 227 likes, 88 shares, and uh, let's see, 11 more comments, 11, 12, 13 comments, 16,120 people saw that. That's the other thing. See, with a fan page, I can see when I'm logged in how many people actually saw this, all right? So you can see that's, that's, pretty, that's a pretty good post right there, right? And then I want to show you another technique here that you can do and you can get some really good response. All you basically do, just like right here, is a simple no picture, okay? All it was was, what is your current camera? Okay, what is your current camera, Canon or Nikon? Question mark, okay? All I did was ask a question to get engagement going because we know that people are Canon and they're Nikon, all right? You may put something up there that says, what picture do you like better, A or B? And you may post two pictures. Or you may say, what theme should I offer? A or B, and you give them two choices, right? It's so important to give them the answer or an A, B type thing. And in this example, I did Canon or Nikon, and you can see, look at 251 comments, okay? 9,852 people saw it, okay? And uh, let's see, there was 25, 26, 27 likes, okay? That was pretty successful, and it was simple. It took me two seconds to do, right? And I got some information from people. I got, I know what people are using now. Fuji, Canon 5D, right? These are, they aren't even putting in, in uh, you know, like this one here, Fuji didn't even put in that. I mean, they just gave me that one, right? And the other example would be, let me just scroll up here a little bit, is, uh, no, not that one. Uh, a lot of mine are getting really, really good because I'm asking questions, but then I'm throwing in a little plug here and there. You know, here was another one. I said, what do you spend most of your time doing in your photography business? A, taking pictures, B, editing, C, marketing, D, surfing the web for ideas, right? So I had like 10 or, or nine likes, and then I had 25, 26, 27 comments, okay? Wasn't as good as the other one, but I still got, a lot, I still got quite a bit of comments. 4,400 people saw it, right? And then here I did something that kind of, this is kind of like a, a promotional thing. I did check out this cute portrait idea for 2014, list of everything you need to create this shot. And then I put a, a, a link over to my blog. And then that blog, if they go over there, they, uh, they get to see the post, okay? And they get to possibly see one of my ads that are running there that offers one of my products, okay? 81 people liked it, 19 people shared it, and two people commented on it, 4,200 people seen it. Okay, so again, I'm just giving you ideas. Don't just post uh, things like, uh, you know, here's my next promo, right? You don't wanna do that. You wanna do is you wanna ask questions, you wanna get engagement, you wanna show people that you're a real person, you wanna tell your story. If you got a new background, show it. If you got a new prop, show it. If you got a new camera, show it. If you uh, went out to dinner and you got an idea for a photography prop, show it. T tell them that you were at a certain restaurant. Whatever, tell your story. Let people know who you are and then they can know, like, and trust you and then you'll have a customer and a client for life, all right? And the last thing I wanna touch on, I'm gonna let you go, is um, the other positive thing with having a fan page or the advantage is these custom tabs down here and these are like a button on a website. You can click on this and it'll take you to a separate page. And uh, I'm not gonna go into detail on how to set these up. There's, uh, they're, they're pretty much free. Um, you can go over to PageMoto, I believe it is, pagemoto.com, I, I think it is, and, um, and it's a custom tab. Or you can just search custom tabs for fa Facebook and it's basically just like a little plugin that you can use and download and then you can add these little custom tabs. But again, first things first, and that's just getting it to a fan page. And uh, that's the first thing I would recommend here. But Alyssa's doing a lot of things right. She's doing the engagement thing totally right. And the promotions she's doing right. She's filtering in the promotions where she can and, uh, and not overly doing it. So awesome job. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this first video of 2014 uh, for Facebook and Facebook marketing. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, let me know. You can either leave, leave them down below this video in the comments box. Uh, or you can email me at newportraitbiz at gmail.com. And uh, 
And that's it. All right. So just get out there and uh, and apply this and start telling your story on Facebook. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs>